life-threatening condition in premature babies has University of Arizona researchers looking for a solution. Nine on your sides, Tasha Davis went to Banner Medical University at Banner Medical Center rather to find out. This is three month old Eric, born 13 to 14 weeks premature. He is a baby that is about to graduate from Banner UMC's NICU. He is also a part of the NEC bile study, being examined for signs of a disease called necrotizing enterocolitis. It's an inflammatory disorder in the intestines. This happens primarily in premature babies because of their underdeveloped intestines, inability to keep bacteria from invading. It's something that occurs unexpectedly without anticipation or warning and can be very devastating to a baby's health. In its severe cases, the baby can die. So researchers in the U of A College of Medicine and the Department of Pediatrics at Banner UMC are doing translational and clinical research on this issue. By looking at samples of stool on these babies, every single stool, looking for certain substances that if they change in concentration, may actually uh, predict which babies are at high risk for NEC. Giving researchers and preemies like Eric an earlier start to avoiding the disease. I don't know that it will protect babies, but it certainly gives us a, another tool in caring for these babies to identify an infant who may be at higher risk. A big factor in the rate of developing necrotizing enterocolitis can stem from being fed breast milk or formula the weeks after birth. Bedrick told me about 10% of babies in any given NICU may get this disease, but the numbers at Banner UMC in Tucson are generally lower since he says the hospital is a huge supporter of using mother's milk to feed their babies. Taja Davis, KGUN 9 on your side.